Hi, my name's Stuart Morton. I'm from a business called Rider Fit, and today we're going to sort of go through the, the process of fitting uh, cleats to someone. Give you guys some tips on, on things to look out for when you're maybe getting new shoes and setting up your shoes for the first time. Yeah, so the first thing you want to do is make sure you understand how your feet kind of uh, rotate or hang by sitting off the edge of a table is a, a really simple test. So first thing we want to have a look at is you can notice how your foot does kind of hang out like this. If we were to sort of bring that, um, that ankle position up to parallel with the ground, if we try to actually bring this in here, you probably notice you get some tension up on the knee there. So that's not a natural position for your foot. As we were talking about earlier, it's coming from the hip. So ideally that's more comfortable. And that just, that guides us basically now we can have float in that pedal system. We can go either way from there, as opposed to having it jammed straight and then getting kind of stuck and not moving properly. In the end, if that's not set up right, it's the knee that's gonna get upset. Once you kind of understand the way that heel sits in or sits out or, or sits, the foot sits straight, that'll start to guide the, the float, the rotation of the cleat. Um, once you understand that, then you can start to uh, mark out the, the first and fifth joints or the ball of the foot and the, the sort of little toe on the outside of the shoe. And essentially what we're trying to do there is get that spindle to, to sit in between those two points once we get you onto the bike. It's the first, first met joint and the fifth joint, which is basically the ball of the foot, if you think about that. And normally you can kind of run across the outs or the inside of that shoe there. Um, and what I'll do is kind of kindly put some tape on our rider's new shoes, because we don't want to sort of mark those up for him, uh, particularly if it's a white shoe as well. <laughs> and do the same on the outside and find that fifth joint out here. You, normally where that fifth joint is, this is kind of a little dip just in front of it, which helps just behind that will be that main joint. So if we kind of come in through there, Ian, I'm just gonna prod around a little bit, find that kind of mass there. And I'll just say, okay, well, we know that's approximately where that first joint is. And I'll do the same thing through here. So once we get that uh, the shoe marked up and we get the rider's foot in there, we'll actually sort of place those cleats on the shoe where the, the center of the cleat is in line with uh, typically the ball of the foot to start with. We can then start to kind of, I guess if you like, block out the position initially just to get the rider up and onto the bike. So that would be in that first joint. I would typically bring the, the center point of that, um, that cleat, which in this case would be behind this little plate here where the ruler is sort of sitting. Um, We'll get that that kind of locked away, and uh, and once we've got that position sort of set up from a four aft, so you've got a, a four and a half position, or how far forward or back it is. You've also got rotation, which we kind of talked about earlier with the foot position, so the rotation of the cleat, and then you've got stance width. So there's kind of three elements that you need to consider to get it all kind of working nicely, and ultimately to pedal well, but to protect your knees. The good thing with, say, the Shimano cleat is we have the ability to put these onto a nice, smooth, flat edge. And from that there, we can then start to understand a bit about how the shoes are set up to begin with as far as um, rotation of the cleat goes. So one thing we can see right now is they're relatively straight. If we look at those sort of up and down through the, the back of the heel and the front of the toes, whereas if we kind of rotate the cleat uh, heel in or we go heel out, we can kind of assess where the shoes sit. So ideally, for our rider today, Ian, we want to kind of have a bit more of a rotation like that to accommodate his natural position. Then we'll get the rider onto the bike and actually physically check that. So I'll look at the, the position of the foot in reference to the spindle when I've got them on the bike, and then we'll make some more informed decisions as to whether we need to move that foot back or forward um, based on yeah, where we've got the, the shoe set up to start with. So essentially, to keep it nice and simple, what you really want to try and do is get that pedal spindle, the axle of the pedal, sitting approximately between the first and the fifth joints, or the inside ball of the foot and the outside of this here. So if you can imagine it kind of cutting through the middle of those two reference points, um, that will get you in a, a pretty good starting point um, when you're setting up some new shoes. And really once you, once you get pedaling from that point, the main thing is you just don't want to have any kind of tension at the knee joint. If there's any kind of pulling or, or pushing at the knee, then perhaps you might just have to reassess that sort of float position again, um, whether it's a little bit more heel in or a little bit of heel out, depending on where you've moved it to to start with. Um, but essentially, once you get things right, yeah, the hip should feel nice and open, the knee should feel comfortable, and you should have a pretty even pressure on both feet, similar sort of pressure on the feet pedaling. So one other thing you could consider once we've got the, uh, the cleat position dialed in is actually uh, come and look at the, the front of the rider. 
um, which we can tell quite a bit of a story as to how the knees are actually tracking. If we look at the hip, the kind of knee and the foot, and in reference to that line there, are the knees kind of diving in? Are they diving out? Are they kind of kicking out? Um, that can sort of start to come into those other aspects of cleat position, which is referencing um, the, uh, the stance width. Um, yeah, if we see knees that are really kind of kicking out at the top of the pedal stroke, which can be for multiple reasons. It could be uh, uh, some good reasons to try and get the foot a bit wider on the, on the pedal. One thing I've done for a long time is just really quite simple, is essentially just mark out three points on that cleat. So you just kind of mark there, mark on this side, yeah, you just kind of mark out those three positions. And there you've got, when you do take that cleat off um, to replace them at some point when they wear out, you've got a nice crisp line with the sort of paint pen, if you like, um, marking out those sort of positions. It's really simple, really effective, and it's easy.